Sometimes you just meet someone who is able to just change the very outcome of a tool itself. Near Home is one of those people. And as a result, I'm able to present to you Boss Cutter 71V underscore five, which now has a new extract. So if we just draw a red box and bring it down, we could press Y to jump to extract. And this mesh, before we continue, I must add is a real mesh. It was modeled in, I just put it there. And now you are able to extract that and just plug it in with no problem. And this was something that previously was not able to be done with custom cutter and extractions. And as a result of Near Home's recent work, that is now possible. He also fixed our alignment issues with our matrix so that shapes are more adequately positioned in 3D space. And so now you're able to extract from anywhere. You're able to extract regardless of rotation or scale. Was able to take care of our transformation issues and just spend an all around just great guy. Uh, I always say it takes a special soul to work with me. And Near Home is definitely one of those people. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So when Custom Cutter was created, Extract was needed as a result to be able to take shapes from one area and repeat them in another. So if we start off and we just do a couple of cuts here, just box cut, and then we press Y during this cut in order to turn it into an extraction, we can cut this out and we can repeat it here. And we can press shift tilde in order to rotate the shape inside if we're wanting to rotate the shape 90 degrees but keep it inside of the bounce of a box. And that is extraction in a nutshell. If we bring in something like a cylinder and we switch over to circle, I could show you a little bit more of how I use extract. So right here, we'll just mirror this across two ways, which gives us a midpoint here. And it also gives us one here that we can play off of, but we actually want to play off of this one. So ideally, it would be nice to be able to turn off all the modifiers, draw a circle, extract this area, and repeat it somewhere else. So if we bring over another cylinder and we bring out our cutter, you can see that it only took what was actually real. It took the cut, the cut that I made by mistake, and the cut that's actually real, but it didn't mirror it over. Of course, we can always just go to the extraction collection and unhide and locate the particular extraction that we're looking for, which is this one. And we can just mirror this over. And the next time that we are in scene one and we bring in a cylinder, that's not a cylinder. We bring in a cylinder and we perform this extraction. Now it's performing as we want. However, the issue is that the extraction that we took wasn't really what we received at the end and we had to modify it to get there. But there's greater issues with extraction. So the thing about extraction is you're able to use it on the center of your scene. And this has always been a, a sort of limitation with this thing is you can work here and we can just you know draw a box, press Y, switch over to extract and we can just extract this. However, if we were to say late parent and move this object over, maybe way over, like over here, and we were to draw a box around this, and we just placed another box here, you can see that the extraction that I received is not only not the shape, it's a box. Not only is it a box, it's a box that's poorly aligned inside of our lattice here. So it completely just whiffed on the extraction. And this was one of the limitations of the previous extraction system. On top of that, even if this shape were sitting right here in the center of our scene, let's actually apply the geometry to the mesh. So now all the geometry is real. So if we were to just draw a actual box around this, if we were to draw a box around this, bring it in and press Y. This is what we have, right? Except this is real geo. And so a popular request of extraction is to be able to extract real geometry. So if we try to bring this out, you can see that it completely whiffs it. And it's because none of this geometry is real. This is just kind of just what it attempted to extract. And so this is a failure. So without further ado, let me show you the new extract. 
So if you have box cutter 71V underscore four installed, you will now have an option at the bottom of your behaviors for surface extract. If you are under extract, the option for surface extract is here. So to demonstrate this in action, we'll just take this cube and subdivide it and we'll use circle tool, which circle has been kind of a little bit weird because of selection changing. We're just gonna create a quick circle, bring it in here, rotate it, and keep in mind everything I'm doing is real geometry, you know, real modeling here. And we're just going to grab these edges here and control B, round them out, shift tilde in order to use select boundary loop. And I'll just mark those as sharp and we'll just S sharpen that. I'll go ahead and add a bevel, but we'll press three in order to use a bevel conversion or a uh, sub D conversion bevel because what we want to do is put a little bit of spacing in here so that we can also follow up with a triangulate modifier and then a level of subdivision. And we'll go into bevel one more time, maybe roll the wheel a couple of times just to really harden that out on the edges. If we press Alt V, you can see what's going on here. So I wanna use this nice quad to jump off of, but I don't wanna jump off any of these crazy uh, geometrical issues that are happening around the circle. But let's go ahead and select box or select it. We're already in extract. Let's go ahead and just bring it down. And you can see that there's an issue here. So this happened in all the uh, preview tests as well. But what you have to do is make sure that these are actually turned off of sort. And we wanna make sure there's enough segments in here. And if we do this again, we can see that that's not an issue. So we grab that surface and I'm just gonna H hide that and we're gonna insert a new cube. And let's look at the extract that we have received. So being able to cut something like that into a surface is what we're going for. With box cutter, of course, you can control click to repeat that cut. But this is something that was previously unable to be done with the previous version of Extract. And I'm so happy to announce that Surface Extract is now here and is capable of taking real geometry and turn it into custom cutters for you to reuse with Kit Ops or whatever you're using or general Booleans. But let's go more in depth on what you can expect with the new Extract. So from here, we'll go ahead and just make a new file. And I just want to show you that we are looking at our cube from the front. However, I'm just gonna scroll all the way out and we're just gonna grab this cube and just move it a couple of miles out in space. So we're real far from the center, just kind of hovering out in space. And top, on top of that, we're also gonna give this object local rotation and scale and just kind of get weird with it. So we're out in space, we're just lost in space, you guys. So we're just going to go ahead and just draw a couple of box cuts in here and just create an interesting shape. There we go. And now we'll just use box with surface extract. We can press Y in order to change over to extract and that's what we took out. So if we go over here, we can draw this. However, I want to pause this and rotate the shape. So since I'm holding left click, I will right click while I'm holding left click in order to pause it. And I can rotate the view around because we're in this uh, pause state. And I can press shift tilde in order to rotate the shape and just really look at this and then grab this dot and pull down the extrude. Uh, one of the battles that I continue to battle internally and I hope that we solve in the future is the ability to get custom cutters to utilize circles to their absolute proportions with accuracy. But I feel that that's something that we'll be solving at some point in the near future. But to be able to extract and work out in space of any position, of any translation, rotation, or scale, and perform extractions is what extraction was supposed to be the entire time. So I'm proud to announce that this version of Extract is now out, and you should be able to get in there and extract like you've never extracted before. So in closing, we're just gonna take this cube, move it out into space, rotate it weird, and just get in here and just start modeling because sometimes your orientation just isn't straight. So we'll just get in here, create something like this, slide this out, Alt W, go in edit mode, and we'll use box cutter, press X in order to toggle over to cut. And we'll just put a couple of interesting little cuts in here. Maybe put a cut here. And we can just go in here, draw a box, press Y to toggle extract, cut that out, 
and if we were to even reset the rotation of this and just draw off of this, you can see that our extraction is perfectly positioned as a custom cutter and ready for us to get in here and begin using. So I hope you enjoy getting in here and just playing with the custom cutter. Of course, if you find yourself with issues like this, just know that in hard ops, late parent has also been improved to ensure that you're able to parent your cutters to your object, even after the fact, so that you can put it right back in the center and continue working. And with that, I'll see you guys next time.